From the Robin Reed Weather Center, here's your first alert hometown weather forecast. Well, hey there, everyone. I hope you're having a great uh, Friday so far. It's something we've been talking about for the better part of a week and a lot of social media chatter. Now uh, the National Hurricane Center is uh, beginning to issue advisories on potential tropical like cyclone four. That just means it will eventually turn into a tropical depression and then eventually a tropical storm as we head through this upcoming weekend. Here's the current satellite picture of it uh, developing right on the eastern coast of Cuba will likely work its way off to the west northwest here over the next 24 hours or so and then eventually work into the Straits of Florida eventually becoming expected a tropical storm over the weekend. So as we take a look at to where the current positioning is right across the east coast of Cuba it will work its way off to the west northwest here and then eventually head toward the Florida Keys eventually developing into a tropical storm as we head through the day on Saturday off the southwestern coast of Florida we will work right up the west coast of Florida and then eventually track right over across uh, let's say I 10 heading into early next week. Here we are Monday time frame still as a tropical storm toward Jacksonville and then working up the southeastern US coast very slowly as we work through the front half of next week. That means we will see increased rip current threat. Also some flooding rains, especially across coastal sections of Georgia, South Carolina and heading into North Carolina by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So the National Hurricane Center has already issued tropical alerts from the uh, Tampa down through Fort Myers, also through Key West and the southern tip of uh, Florida in advance of this potential tropical system here locally. We're just dealing with dangerous heat. We've got 98. The feels like reading currently in South Boston, 97 in Danville, 93 currently in Martinsville. This feels like reading stopping out between about 98 and 103 along and east of the Blue Ridge in the next few hours. We're also tracking the shower and thunderstorm activity that has now already fired up a little bit ahead of schedule across some of our hometowns, especially down across the NRV. And those will continue to work their way off toward the east. So we'll have to watch these very closely. Also tracking a complex of showers and thunderstorms that is beginning to weaken in far southwestern Virginia. So that chance for showers and thunderstorms will persist through this afternoon and heading into the evening hours. And we'll see that rain chance lingering into the day on Saturday, all thanks to that upper level low. So any storm that does develop this afternoon and evening could produce some strong wind gusts, some locally heavy rainfall and hail will certainly be possible as well. Overnight low, to low temperatures down into the 60s and low to mid 70s and that forecast for your Saturday morning hours look mainly dry. And then once again, a scattering of showers and thunderstorms likely by the afternoon and heading into the evening hours. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler into the 70s and 80s by tomorrow afternoon. So first alert weather day continues for today. Highs down into the 80s to near 90s Saturday and Sunday and then heating right back up a little bit 90s for the front half of next week. And then we'll have to watch the Wednesday Thursday time frame for potentially some tropical moisture from that system will also be impacted by a frontal boundary as well. So looks like some higher rain chances possible as we head toward the second half of next week. Nisa. And don't we need it? We do. No, we still do. We have seen improving uh, drought conditions, especially across the south side in central Virginia, but still uh, need the rainfall here uh, for most of us. So that's right. All right, Bradford. Yep. Thanks for keeping us up to date with that. Of course.